seen from younger guys like uh, Jerez Parks, Cameron Batuni, the Yabi and Nomer. I know everybody's really excited about you know those guys coming up with. Honestly, the, the biggest thing I've seen from them is their willingness to, to learn. Um, because obviously those guys are all talented. I mean, they they wouldn't be here if they weren't. Um, but I, I've seen tremendous, you know, physical traits from them. But the thing that I really like about those guys is that they all want to learn. I mean, they they're texting me, coming up to me, asking me, "Can we get extra film every day?" Um, you know, and that's something that I I think is 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 awesome. You know, and um, I'm more than willing to help them and. Um, you know, those guys are just, they've, they've been doing a really good job. I, I just told them yesterday, y'all are probably the most advanced group of freshmen that I've seen here since I've been here, and I've been here a while, so, yes, sir. It's kind of cool to get a, that job along with making plays. Right? Mm -hmm. You've really got more than one thing to do. Most people just want to make plays and be better. So you kind of have a dual role when you're older, I guess. Yeah, yeah, and that's your responsibility because that's what, you know, the, the older guys did when, when my class first came in. It's kind of just how the cycle works, you know, and I think it's it's vital to the program because you teach those guys how things go, and that's how the culture is, you know, carried on, and um, you know, so those guys will hopefully pick it up and they'll appreciate it. Then, two three years down the line, they'll be so comfortable that they're doing the same thing for the the next wave of guys, and it just keeps carrying on. I think that's one of our biggest keys to all the success we have around here. So you got injured, came back, did all the work. Mm -hmm. For the most part, it's in the past. I'm, I'm, I'm really just locked in and focused on my, my senior season. Um, but I will say some some motivation just because I you know I had a lot of my season cut out last year um, to where I know that this is my last shot. And I, I, I want to go into this thing, just leave it all out there, no regrets, and just leave my mark and, and, and just just have, a, have an impact on this program, on these people, on the coaches. Just any way I can. I just I, I'm just not taking it for granted. You're taking the tough road. I mean, being a highly recruited guy, and mm -hmm. five your time, and mm -hmm. patience had to be a, a virtue. Yeah, you know, and I and I knew that coming in, um, but at the same time, you know, it's you know something you just had got to go through, and and I and I knew that it was going to you know might take a little time. I might have some you know some things down that I might have to work on, weight or you know this or that, but. You know, it's something I, I did, and you know, I take pride in it. I think, and I'm, and I'm glad I took this route because um, I feel like it's, it, it's, it's made me into the person I am today. I think it's going to prepare me for any other trials I might face. And, and like I said, it's really just been, everything's just been a blessing, really. Is it, a, is it easy for you guys to block out the noise regarding the quarterback situation, or has it been a distraction for you guys? Oh, it's easy for us because we're locked, we're locked in on our on our opponent, but obviously right now we're locked in on ourselves. We, we, we want to, um, you know, just focus on ourselves right now, figure out who we are as a player, who we are as a team, you know, get our identity out there and figure out who we are. And, um, you know, we, we don't let any out outside distractions or anything really affect us. You know, I, I, that, I don't even think that it's even bothered anybody. Like I said, it's we keep on rolling. I've seen, you know, a, a tremendous amount of of young guys that are making plays already, and you know that says a lot about them because, you know, normally, you know, the secondary that's one of the harder positions, you know, to learn mentally, and um, you know these guys are already kind of understanding the concepts, and they're out there making plays. So the future is really bright um, for our secondary, and even the guys that we have right now. I mean, athleticism, you know, they're smart, good decision makers, they're vocal. I, I think I think we have a very good secondary, and I'm, you know, very supportive of them. Hey Christian, um, you playing a little bit for Terrell Lewis, you know. I mean, obviously with him going down, missing last year, I'm sure you guys are close. You know, mm -hmm. kind of playing a little bit for him. You guys, you know, it's got to be tough for him. Oh, of course, you know, because number one, I know the feeling, but number two, you know, just just the timing of it is just. You know, it's so unfortunate. You know, I, and I know how much he, he he loves this game and how much he cares for it. So, you know, 
uh, I just want to, you know, obviously when I go out there, just make sure I, I leave it out there because I know, you know, that, that, that's what he would do, you know. But I still haven't given up on him coming back either. You know, I, I know with his work ethic and, you know, his, you know, his, his determination, how driven he is, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he found a way out there. So, you know, I'm praying for him and you know, I'm there for him. You know, we're, we're like best friends. So, yeah, of course.